Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a site called tubeonai.com and this is a summarization site. So it's an AI tool that specializes in summarizing all sorts of content. So you can see here in the center, we've got a whole lot of different kinds of content from PDFs, Word, PowerPoint, but the two that really stand out are podcasts and YouTube. So you can provide a link to any of these different sources or drag a file in and it will provide a summarization for you. Got an affiliate link down in the video description, which fingers crossed will give you a discount if you want to pay for the paid version. Otherwise, let's dive in and have a look at what this tool can do. So we'll start off by giving it a YouTube and this is actually one of my own. And so we whack the URL in there. It takes a little time to do the summarization. We can see that it's pulled up the YouTube and this is one about the Myers-Briggs and we can see that it's starting to do the summary. There are other tools out there that will do summarization, ChatGPT of course, and even for YouTube, Gemini has been pretty good for that, but this is really set up to do that specifically. So here on the first page, we get the summary. You can see that it's got a couple of key topics and then some bullet points under it. And it's definitely done a really good job here. Main message that uh, MBTI does not meet basic psychometric properties. It pretty much covers it. Uh, we can come to the next page and it actually gives us timestamps. So we can go back and those things that it said, we can track where in the video it has said them. The next one along, AI content. So it gave us just a general summary, but down here, it now gives us slightly more specific outputs. In addition, you can create your own prompts as well, but this is a pretty good start. We can see study guides, quizzes and assessments, Twitter thread generator, that's really handy. That's something that certainly people have had some good online success with. TikTok video script, YouTube video script. If your thing is summarizing big videos into short ones, that can be pretty handy. So we've got some really nice built-in prompts and the ability to use your own and the ability to ask follow-up questions as well. So we've got this little chat window and just like what we could in ChatGPT, we can put in follow-up questions into that. So that's really nice, really nice, straightforward, easy from the summaries page. It keeps a log of them. We can filter by the different types as well. And then in addition to this, the other feature that I really like on the site is the channels page. So we can add channels and you can see there's a few popular ones there, Huberman and Marcus Brownlee amongst them. And it will summarize whenever a new video comes out and then it'll give you a notification as well. It will be auto summarizing and then just give you a ping to say, hey, Huberman's got a new video out and if you don't have a spare two to three hours to sit through all of the lovely detail that he gives you, you can jump in here to Tube on AI and it is going to give you that summary. So we've got some YouTube there if we flick over to podcast and again it's got a few different suggestions there Lex Friedman could be a pretty good one those are particularly long and certainly up for me I really enjoy them but if you wanted to be able to just get the key info out of them then really nice way of being able to do it next up we tried summarizing a pdf document my master's thesis did a pretty good job it's plucked out most of the key things I then ran the blog post prompt to get a more detailed response. So this is more like the summary that I would like to see for something like a thesis. It's broken it down, it's got key headings and we can see the findings, the methodology, some key differences, the other measures. This is very much in line with what is in that thesis, but in a nice summarized, simplified, but still very correct way. Next up, I tested a couple of podcasts. So as with YouTubes or files, we can link them up with URLs up in the box here, or via the channels page, we can hunt them down there. The search function, if you just type in the name of a podcast, is generally pretty good. Although I did find for my first million that in addition to getting the channel, there was a number of podcasts that had the, all of those words or some of those words in, and it came up with those as well. So anyway, let's have a look at the output that it produced. So using the Twitter thread generator, we got a summary that looked like this, has the little icons. 
we can come back and we can fire through a blog post generate instead if we would prefer to get a more slightly more long form text based summary and we can see that breaks down the different chapters of the podcast gives a couple of paragraphs on each so that was the my first million one if we go back we can have a look at the lex friedman one and again just because i got that twitter prompt set starts off looking like this which is actually i think pretty good in terms of making it easy to read using the little emojis to separate the different parts i quite like but of course we can come back over here and choose something different we're not going to turn it into an academic essay but we might turn it into say linkedin content or blog if we want something that's a little bit different so with this blog style i like how it turns the summaries into something that's a bit more readable than if we were just looking at a transcript that was just the back and forth between the host and the interviewee trying to read those it's quite hard often to be able to get the information out whereas with the summarization we get nice clear couple of paragraphs on each topic telling us about each of these main things so in addition to what we've had a look at there is an app, there is a Chrome extension as well, which is pretty handy. Really for me, the thing that I think will keep me coming back here is the ability to summarize YouTubes and podcasts, is the ability for me to get those summaries in different styles, and the ability to have channels. If there's particular people, and earlier I highlighted Huberman, that you want to be able to follow but you just don't have time because they've got that long form content being able to get the summaries in here in a really automated fashion where you can even set up that it will send you an email it will auto summarize as new episodes appear is really really handy so that's tube on ai i've got a link down in the video description i think it does a much more streamlined job of summarizing than just using something like chat gpt chat gpt is pretty good for just general summarization if we dump in a pdf but it struggles with other things gemini is okay for youtube so far i haven't really found anything that did a good job with podcasts this is the first one i've come across so i think there's a lot to like here whether you are doing it just for your own easier consumption of content or perhaps you're a content creator yourself and you want to be able to use some of those ai formats for things like tweet threads linkedin scripts stuff like that I think then this is going to be a really handy tool for you I hope you found this really useful. I'll be back really soon with more videos on AI research stats and random stuff.